everyone. I'm happy to give the introductory talk at this virtual crash course on exploring computer structure models at rcsb.org. Proteins are macromolecules made up of amino acids that determine their 3D shape. These amino acids interact locally and in long range to form secondary structures and folded tertiary structures. The folded uh, proteins can also interact with one another to form quaternary associations that enable function. Why is structure important? Structure is important because it determines function. The folded structure of a protein is unique and stable and enables the protein to carry out its function. Protein Data Bank is the single global repository for 3D structures of macromolecules and their complexes, determined experimentally using X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy, and three-dimensional electron microscopy. PDB was established in 1971 and is the first open access digital resource in all of biological sciences. PDB provides open access to about 200,000 experimental structures with no limitations on usage and PDB structures are expertly curated and validated. Although there are billions of proteins in nature, experimental structures are only available for a few hundred thousand. Experimental structure determination is often time consuming, expensive, and can be technically challenging. Given that the sequence of amino acid residues in a protein chain determines its function, functional 3D structure, the question is, can we computationally model the structure of a protein from its sequence? There are two approaches for protein structure prediction. The first one is template-based structure prediction, also known as homology modeling or comparative modeling. This involves modeling the structure of an unknown protein sequence known as a target based on the similarity of the sequence to the sequence of another protein with known structure, also known as the template. Homology modeling has been successful when template structures with more than 40% sequence identity are available. The second approach is template-free structure prediction, also known as ab initio modeling or de novo modeling. This is applied when reliable structural templates are not available for the protein of interest. Template-free structure prediction usually involves large-scale conformational search to identify the lowest energy conformation. In recent times, intramolecular contact predictions based on coevolution data have been successfully applied for template-free structure prediction. Amino acid residues that evolve together are identified from multiple sequence alignments and predicted to be in contact with each other in the 3D structure. And this information is used for structure modeling. To answer the question in the title of my talk, computer structure models are predicted models obtained using template-based or template-free modeling methods. I would like to quickly touch upon two community-led blind challenges that have fostered the development of both template-free and template-based structure prediction methods over the years. The first one is the critical assessment of techniques for protein structure prediction, known as CASP, and the second one is the continuous automated model evaluation, also known as CAMEO. In both cases, modelers predict and submit the 3D structure of a protein whose experimentally derived structure is yet to be released to the public. These models are then compared to the experimental um, structures upon release, to evaluate both the models and the prediction methods. CASP is conducted every two years and CAMEO is conducted weekly based on pre-release sequences from the PDB. Both CASP and CAMEO have contributed to the evaluation and development of structure prediction methods over the years, and both challenges have relied on coordination with the structural biology community and the PDB. In recent CASP challenges conducted in 2018 and 2020, AlphaFold and its successor, AlphaFold2, were highly successful. This remarkable achievement was made possible by recent breakthroughs in applying artificial intelligence approaches and machine learning methods to structure prediction. What is AlphaFold2? 
AlphaFold 2 is an AI system developed by Google DeepMind that predicts a protein's 3D structure from its amino acid sequence. AlphaFold 2 achieves accuracy comparable to low resolution experimental structures. The AI system was trained by showing it the sequences and structures of around 100,000 known proteins from the PDB. So PDB data is the primary input for training the AI system. Without the enormous wealth of expertly curated and validated 3D structure data from the PDB, the application of machine learning techniques to train the AlphaFold AI system would not have been possible. AlphaFold models typically look like beads on a string, as shown here, with the beads corresponding to compactly folded regions of reasonably high confidence, and the strings corresponding to regions of low confidence connecting these folded domains. This is an overview of the AlphaFold 2 neural network model architecture, where several methodological advances were introduced that turned out to be successful. The input to the system is the protein sequence, and the output is the 3D coordinates. The training starts with a multiple sequence alignment rather than more processed features derived from these multiple sequence alignments. Information at the one-dimensional sequence level and the two-dimensional contact map level are, are iteratively transformed and exchanged back and forth in the network. The three-dimensional atomic coordinates are directly refined rather than the pairwise distances. And finally, end-to-end um, -end learning is employed where all network parameters are optimized by backpropagation from the 3D atomic coordinates through all layers of the network back to the input sequence. This slide highlights the performance of AlphaFold 2 in CASP-14. Two examples of CASP-14 protein targets in the template-free modeling category are shown. The first one is RNA polymerase domain, and the second one is the adhesin tip. The experimental structure is shown in green, superposed with the computational prediction in blue. As you can see, the computed model is very close to the experimental structure and the carbon alpha RMSD is 1.14 angstrom in the RNA polymerase domain case. And it is uh, 0.82 angstrom in case of the adhesin tip. So AlphaFold 2 can predict accurate structures as measured against the experimental result. AlphaFold 2 also provides two types of intrinsic model accuracy estimates. Uh, the first one is the predicted local distance different test, PLDDT, which is a per residue measure of local confidence on a scale from zero to 100. The second is the predicted aligned error, PAE, which is the expected position error at residue X when the predicted and true structures are aligned on residue Y. My colleague Chenghua will delve into the details of these model quality metrics uh, later in his talk. AlphaFold Protein Structure Database provides open access to AlphaFold predictions. In 2022, AlphaFold DB was expanded to include over 200 million protein structure predictions involving a broad structure coverage um, of sequences in Uniprot. Following the success of AlphaFold 2 in the CASP-14 challenge, Howard Hughes Medical Institute investigator David Baker and his team at the University of Washington developed Rosetta Fold. Rosetta Fold also uses an AI system similar to that of AlphaFold, but the network architecture used for machine learning is different from that of AlphaFold 2. The prediction accuracies of Rosetta Fold approach that of AlphaFold 2. Rosetta Fold has been applied in combination with AlphaFold 2 to predict the complex structures of core eukaryotic protein complexes. These structures are archived and freely available from the model archive at the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. Applications of computer structure models. 
Computer structure models are being used by structural biologists to accelerate experimental structure determination. These models are also used by molecular and cell biologists to develop testable hypotheses regarding proteins that are not present in the PDB, such as the Swissgrass switch grass proteins for which there are only four structures in the PDB. These models are also used to advance integrative structural biology studies where predicted structures of individual proteins are fit into experimental maps of higher order structures to build the 3D structures of complex assemblies. This summer, we released an updated rcsb.org web portal, which now delivers over a million computer structure models together with approximately uh, 200,000 experimental structures. RCSB.org provides an extensive set of tools and services which can be applied to search, analyze, and visualize computer structure models alongside experimental structures. These models are consistently distinguished from experimental structures through source-specific icons and unique coloring schemes, as shown here. Provenance information about these models are clearly provided on the website and documentation has been created to help users apply the tools available on rcsb.org to study experimental structures and computer structure models. What kind of computer structure models are currently available on rcsb.org? The current set consists of a prepackaged collection of about a million computer structure models from AlphaFoldDB that include model organism proteomes, global health proteomes, Swiss prod sequences, and main sequences. The Rosetta Fold computer structure models from the model archive include a set of about 1100 heteromeric complexes corresponding to the core eukaryotic protein complexes uh, that, that were modeled using a combination of Rosetta Fold and Alpha Fold 2. These computer structure models collectively cover the entire human proteome and those of model organisms, selected pathogens, and organisms relevant to bioenergy research. During the rest of this course, my colleagues will describe the various features available on rcsb.org that allow users to apply the available tools to study computer structure models alongside experimental structures. Thank you. We are going to scale uh, our data delivery capabilities to uh, uh, increase the number of uh, computed structure models that we can deliver alongside the, uh, the, experiment, the PDB structures. So, so the answer to that question, Maximilian, I'll take it is, is yes, but I think one has to be very careful about uh, drawing inferences from a combination of small molecule docking to computed structure models. Uh, and one has to be very confident that the computed structure model is of high quality and uh, that the results of the docking calculations are very carefully scrutinized. Uh, these, uh, the juxtaposition of, um, of these two technologies, uh, both, uh, both digital, of course, both uh, computational, uh, does carry with it some risks to the practitioners. So we, we would urge caution in that regard.